गुड अगेन आई हैव कम बैक फ्रॉम इन इस्लाम एंडर पोएम आई हैड डिस्कस पोएम इवन द स्टैंडिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन सो टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ द होल पोएम वंस अगेन एज वेल एज मैथ ऑफ द पोएम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ द पोएम विल रिवाइज अगेन दैट वन एज वेल एज questions from social in class class also you will check that social injustice class inequalities is the most in this point the pathetic and elementary school class of in islam so these are the okay, i'll discuss one by one the gist of the poem or about the whole poem once again friends the pathetic and miserable picture these children and lifeless faces and lifeless faces they are like rootless weeds which are uncared wanted with their dirty hair torn around their faces so the condition of the slum children been beautiful with the rootless weeds here and there it is the condition fully compared with that the root the is for the torn around their faces word of it and oppressed and keep down stunt they have their stunted growth they in their is the study is in the last video that null disease okay null disease is the twisted bones deform deform structure of the body all are there can it's like taken from their father in heredity they are inheriting all these disease of their father some of them do have dreams a sweet young thing at the back of the dog by squirrel game interesting things first anja people first anja for different different of that picture what is the picture of that boy that he has been unnoticed sitting at the back and he has been dreaming of a squirrel game in the trees and probably other interesting things so yesterday the question has been asked some student asked me the question why he has been unnoticed and why he was sitting back because he was aspiring something different what the other students other slum children were thinking he was not thinking like that he aspired something he dreamed something totally in a different way who is that boy the unnoticed boy where he was sitting at the very back benches so his dream and his aspiration was different if we compare the dreams and aspiration of the other 2 to 3 slum children okay very important question this one next moving forward the walls are dirty and creamy they are hung the donations given by the rich and their portrait if you move to the second stanza that i had discussed already the if you see the walls all are dirty and creamy and hung on the rich people and also shakespeare's portrait so if we go to the slum children classroom inside the classroom what do we see what do we notice that all the walls are inside dirty and creamy and there is a picture of shakespeare okay that was donated by some rich people privileged class of the society that is the theme also in this poem that the how this the class from privileged society privileged class of people into this under privileged society next one a civilized dome of that found in the cities in the tyrolis valley with beautiful flowers are also put up so what what that class comes picture of william shakespeare okay the civilized dome found in the cities that is the tyrolis valley the beautiful flowers picture okay civilized dome picture what is dome dome is a large rounded roof and where is that valley is situated in yeah. okay tyrolis valley is a beautiful valley located in austria tyrolis valley's picture dome's picture all are put inside the slum children 
क्लास टू एलोंग विद द पिक्चर ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर ओके नेक्स्ट वन द मैप ऑन द वर्ल्ड शोज द चिल्ड्रेन द ब्यूटिफुल वर्ल्ड आउटसाइड बट फॉर दिस चिल्ड्रेन ऑफ द स्लॉम इट इज मीनिंग सो द क्वेश्चन कम्स व्हाट डज दिस मैप रिप्रेजेंट व्हाट डज द यूज ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर्स पोर्ट्रेट व्हाट डज टू दिस स्लॉम चिल्ड्रेन पिक्चर ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर एंड द मैप so the map is an example of what that exploration of the world if you write the answer what you will write i'll give the this question answer but be, uh, before that i am discussing the map represents the discoveries and explorations of the outside world but it is meaningful because it signifies beauty exploration discoveries what is happening outside the world for these children it is totally meaningless because they are totally unaware of it they are deprived of using all this map and all this shakespeare's portrait no, who is william shakespeare for them all this picture are meaningless like that map also so if the question come was it the figure of speech this is metaphor the map is a bad example is a metaphor as well as it is irony it is used in an ironical sense because to them it is totally meaningless children the use of map is totally meaningless understood moving forward to the next point okay the children studying in these schools do not have the means to go and explore the world for them what they see through their classroom windows the narrow street and the lead sky in the is the world the children studying in the school do not have the means to go and explore the world for them what they see through their classroom windows narrow street and lead sky is the world so metaphorically what is their map windows so through their windows they visualize what was happening outside the world so ironically the map which represents the exploration and discoveries ironically it becomes what windows for them so windows becomes like a map through what was happening outside the world so this what is totally ironical again next one next stanza will get get this one third shakespeare is wicked for them the question come why is shakespeare wicked like map a bad example like why is shakespeare wicked what is the answer shakespeare is wicked for them as he has written only about rich beautiful world tempting them to steal okay shakespeare is wicked for them as he has written only about the rich beautiful world tempting to them to steal if you if you arrange this answer properly you can write that shakespeare is an universal genius for ourselves if we know literature if we want to know literature we must acquainted with the name of william shakespeare but to this slum children the name of william shakespeare is totally meaningless because he or she or i can say they do not know about the contribution of william shakespeare in literary field so the ironically shakespeare is wicked in the eyes of slum children this is the proper answer okay if the question come then you write this answer next moving forward their life starts in darkness and ends in utter darkness so darkness and darkness totally what negative picture pessimistic picture is given by the poet they are undernourished and their poverty has distorted their vision distorted means broken as they spend their whole time in foggy slums their whole time is constrained restrained in a foggy slums the poet feels that the map which shows beautiful and exotic peak places should be replaced with should be replaced with slums as it is not the world they live in okay coming to the next point and it is last stanza of the poem the concluding stanza yesterday i had discussed discussed the concluding stanza 
that what are the steps will be taken by the privileged class of the society who are the privileged class of the society governor inspector visitor educator administrator so unless these people the governor inspector and the visitor play a vital role in bringing about a change their lives will remain in dark so these people should come forward they should take some initiatives to curb the situation of their normal life so whose role this privileged class of the society to so to help them these under privileged slum children the slum children would be able to peep through the window only when the gap to peep through the window only when the gap between the two worlds is breached so through their windows they can discover they can explore until and unless these people are coming for what these slum children they should break the barrier till they come out of their dirty surroundings and their world should be extended into the green fields golden sands and bright world so these words are very important green fields golden sands and bright world because these are definitely represent symbolize the bounties of nature the varieties of nature through they they can explore their whole life they can discover they can visualize like the last boy who was sitting unnoticed and visualized at the squirrel game if you go through the first stanza that i discussed several time again i am discussing that the one the three four pictures with that one picture was different in the last first stanza the one boy was sitting very last bench and visualizing and visualizing something different what he was he had been visualizing he had been visualizing that what was happening and exploring outside the okay. they should have the freedom of expression and the outlook be broadened for only the educated and the learned people can create history whose language has strength and power okay so so for them the educated people will come forward and so that they can create history whose language has strength and power okay next i'll discuss the rtc but now i have discussed the important points is very important in the contextual part of the poem now i'll discuss few rtc reference to the context what is the line on their slag heap these children were skins peep through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass all of their time and space are foggy slum so blot their mass doom okay what are the question with two pictures are used to describe these slums what sort of life do these children sleep and which figure of speech is used in the last stanza the images used in the describe the slums are slag heap okay our slag heap what are the images given here what are given the slag heap bottle beads on stone and slums as big as dome these are slag heap bottle beads on stone and slums as big children led a life worse than death second question what type of life they lead their death very bad worse means very bad the dirt and the garbage of the slum in their world their misery and poverty their life poverty what type of life they lead third question which figure of speech has been used simile has been used in this living hell slums people are compared to the living hell they are considered okay next one next rtc awarding the word awarding the world that is world and yet for these children this window is not in the map their world where all their futures painted with the fog narrow street sealed in the late sky far far from rivers capes and stars of words what does the poet mean by the open handed what can be seen through these windows and how is the children world different from the one to the question how does the poet mean by open handed by the phrase open handed the poet implies to the map of the world that is drawn and reshaped that will be grab the supreme power over the world so term open handed implies the what is the implication the whole world that is drawn and reshaped second question answer the future of the slum children can be seen question if you go through the second question 
what can be seen through these windows what can be seen the bleak picture uncertain picture future of the slum children in because they are not possible to see and visualize outside the world so and how is the children's world different from the one from the map for these children the map of the world is meaningless as they are what their own dirty and feel these states they are living a feel these state dirty so for these children map are totally meaningless that i had discussed already man is map is totally meaningless to them explore they couldn't discover for the map is a bad example next one next rtc very important shakespeare is a wicked surely shakespeare is wicked map a bad example with sheep and the sun the love tempting them to steal for life slightly turn in their cramped holes from fog to endless night on their slag heap these children were skins peeped through by bones and spectacles with mended glass like bottles beaten stones what is the question why is the shakespeare wicked described as wicked i discussed now explained from fog to endless night and what does the reference to the slag heap mean shakespeare is described as wicked because there is no correlation between shakespeare works and the life of slum children that i they are totally unknown about william shakespeare his contribution in the world second one explain from fog, fog to endless night the phrase describes the miserable bleak world okay miserable and bleak world and that bleak world for them is totally different and what are the other freedoms should they enjoy what are the other other freedom should should they enjoy they should enjoy the other freedom like to take education to uh, to take steps in their own life they could take their own decision they could go outside they explore the whole world they definitely they should enjoy but it's not given in this slum children because they are constrained they are restrained because they are leading a bleak life miserable life next i'll discuss the next rdc break or break open the break the town and so the tired children to the green fields and make their world run as or gold sands and let their tongues run naked in the books white and green leaves open history there whose language is the sun what is the question to whom does they refer to what would they break and what other freedom should they enjoy that i discussed already they refers to the slum children they would break the free and the autocratic autocracy of the injustice they are subjected to they would break the free and the auto, autocracy they subjected to and they should enjoy the freedom of being exposed to the world that books that being educated that i discussed just now i have discussed from the the slums and the slums and the allowed to read directly uh, occasion for the uh, the, um, uh, the outside world they should excel professionally so what the freedom they had education language what was happening that the important part for them to explore the outside world okay Concluding stanza one artist is there. What is that concluding stanza? Unless governor, visitor, visitor, the map becomes their window. At their window, they sat up on their like like catacombs, open till they break the town. So children to the green fields and make their run their own gold sands. They are not like books. Their white and green leaves open and history. Whose language is the sun? The same very much common. You see the last standing picture. You will get the same lines, but question up. See the difference. What are the question? What does the poet appeal to? What is the appeal made by the poet? And what does the express say? Their tongue run on names. First question: What does the poet appeal to? The poet, the poet appeal to whom? Governor, inspectors, visitors, the people in authority. All right, governor, inspector, people. Poet appeal to the officer. They are saying, okay. The poet's appeals is in store. What by the way, the poet appeals to them only because this is no sure they are saved from the miserable condition. And understand liberal education is important. Liberal education, you should know you should get freedom what you want to know. So, as an You should know your would be all the liberal by others. Okay, so very important and important. Not you will be bothered by any other one or the 
any other decisions you will take your decision. okay so these were the few rtc part that i discussed on my one next the message of the poem so this can come what is the message of the poem the poem the the poem in forcing bow body and the film is represented by the gardener inspector and visitor to improve the condition of the ऑप्टिमिस्टिकली associated some that, that they are rejoicing in their life but this power of 